Hello YouTube and welcome to another Vacuum Mad 8 video and today we're going to do a long-awaited um, quick demo Rubbish. and what we think of this um, Beldre Roller Vac. Uh, this one I think Cole got for Christmas. Did you have it for Christmas? Yeah I think we had it for Christmas that one because he's got Christmas and birthdays. Um, so this one was never really going to be a game changer. This one was generally bought as a what can I say? Piece of rubbish. An interesting looking modern vacuum. Um never seen another one like this one actually. There's nothing on the market that's similar to this. A vax in and a, a USA make. Yeah, but that's but they're not cordless, are they? So this one is basically a cordless version of the Avax um a Vax Air, Air Revolve. Uh, yeah. I can't think of the other one's called now. Yeah, so basically this is a cordless version of an air revolve. Um, this one is supposed to have a digital I motor. Think it's genuine electric or something like that. Yeah, J E, yeah. This one um normally retailed at about £249. So this one could cost you up to £249 if you really want one of these. Um so we did this one's been a sort of a cursed sort of vacuum because last week we were supposed to done the video and something happened and we couldn't do it gonna did it mate we'll get into that later on yesterday i've got the charge the thing and we were just about to shoot the video i think we've been out in the morning we were hunting for crisps yesterday i've seen the fans treasure hunting for crisps um and basically i got home went to do the video and it was like oh it's on one bar. So we wait four hours to charge it up. So I've actually charged this thing for about six hours. It's been left on. So it should have a good um, good run time, really. Um, so this one, I'm going to give you a couple of specs on this one. It's a copyright on here, but I'm going to read it out. And it says, if you're short of space or you dislike using heavy vacuum cleaners, this Beldre... Cylinder vacuum is a perfect solution. A 200 watt motor is chargeable low to high speed suction power of 10 kPa and 16 kPa. Now I've actually had to look up what kPa is. <laughs> they haven't got it in air watts, they've got it in kPa. So I'm going to explain to you. Uh, there we go on the Google. So basically it is a typical measure in kpa pascal so it's a kilo pascal so this is some new well some some different sort of measurement to say like well we've got this on there so it provides cleaning with a, a 500 mil dust capacity chargeable in just four hours for high speed run time for, of 20 minutes equipped with motorized floor brush carry strap small round brush two in one vac Two and one uh, crevice tool, and will give every inch of your home a sparkling clean. <laughs> so this one, they've actually made it sound really good. Now, this one, we did not pay. I did not. I was not willing to pay the full asking price for this. So I think we got this one um, before Christmas, and I think it was from the, um, what was it called? I can't think of the name of it, the shop is, but one of them catalog um, shops. So it was less than hundred pounds. So I thought, well, less than hundred pounds for a cordless machine. It's not bad. Like this is like a nice little extra. I wish we were yet to such a meter test on one. <laughs> Does that have one? So what we're going to do now, we'll do a sound meter test with this one first. So Cole's going to grab a sound meter test. We've got some bits on the carpet. I've actually gone around with the V11. Well, PPA means sound, baby. No, no, it's a suction. It's to do with um, its pressure or something. So we're going to switch this one on now. Yeah, give it a sound meter. Suction gauge to pressure. Also, yeah, so it's not lever. it's not water lift. It's not freaking this and that. Yeah. Oh. So yeah, it's just under that. It's just under the 80. So that one went on the max. Now this motor to me sounds very similar to what you have 
in a shark, isn't it? So it has got all the vax. All the vax. Um, so for less than hundred pound, this all one was the vax. was 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 paying less than hundred pound a good buy uh, for this. If I had to use this as a cordless run my house, I think I would have had it. Vax blade. A couple of weeks, two. wasn't it? The Vax blade two had the same motion. Yeah, thing. yeah, the Vax A blade. So we're to be honest with Carl's actually tested quite a lot of these cordless machines. He may not own all of these machines, but he regularly goes to the big places at Curry's. Last weekend, we was at John Lewis's, weren't we? Having a go on all their vacuums in the shop, weren't we? So, we, you know, we would, what would we be testing out? The AEG one, uh, or AEG one, wasn't it? Yeah. The new cordless one, wasn't it? The, not the newest one. Not the newest one. Just one with a little bit of handheld and a loose one. But, wow. Would you say that one was better than the AEG one? Probably. I think it wasn't, it wasn't much difference in it, was it? I only want was Bosch Athletes. Or was it called a Aga? Aga? Or, or it was Bosch Athletes. Yeah. So, what we're doing now, we're going to just quickly rip into this thing quick, pretty quick. We did have an issue with this one where we did have a breakage on it. That's uh, why we didn't have, we couldn't do the video um, last week and we had to use some glue on it. Right so what there. happened was, where this, right, yeah, we're getting to that. This bit here, this accidentally fell on the floor and I think the bin was open and it ripped it off and it was, li literally you got this screw molding and it actually broke that. Well, luckily, Gorilla glued that and it's managed to get it. Now, what I was afraid of was, companies like Beldre, I should imagine that if you, um, they probably won't have, they might give you another one, but if they haven't got one, they'll just give you a credit note. And at the end of the day, Carl actually wanted this vacuum in his collection. So um, just show a, Talk about cut, cut the issues with it, mate, with the uh, the way the filter is on this one. But this is one of these other ones. These are ones you want to really avoid when you're buying a, a, a cordless vacuum. So you've got a filter on the top. Ah. So that's that's basically... <laughs> Look at that. Look. That's not enough. That's not enough. Fine. Right. And is then it... you've basically oh. got this thing here in there. Like a this... shark. Like a shark, little bit, the Dyson's got one as well, but what happens with these is, and this particular one, all the dust sticks to this, doesn't it? And it basically restricts the airflow. Um, and that pose out like a vax. Oh yeah. And the seals on it, the seals aren't rubber. They're more of a... Um, Plastic. Like a corky style, well, I would say like a cork style, um, modern cork style um, seal which when they get wet, they expand. So you can't really wash that one too much. Um, so what we're going to do now, the tools on it aren't too bad. They've got much dust in there. Yeah, so yeah, we'll have to dust that again in a minute. Yeah, thank you very much. Back on the floor again. So for £89 or whatever it was, plus the £6.95 for delivery, wasn't a bad one, but I think you could, could I would personally think that you might have to look somewhere else. I, not a, I'm not like, you know, obsessed with Dyson and all this lot, but if you had to pay 250 quid for this thing, wouldn't you? So if you paid the max, you can buy for 250 quid. You've got a lot of vacuums you can choose from. You can, you can get like air blades. You can buy the shark cordlesses when they're on the sale. You can buy the Dyson V7. And I think that's the one with that little swivelly bit. I think you can get the animal one with that on it. And, you know, it's a lot of choices out there. And, and the big dummy come in. And I don't time. think this one throws out 100 air watts on mm. the boost mode. Um, and I think the V7 also gives you around 20 minutes. And, and the wheels are quite chatty on this thing. You can't hardly push it away. You can't push Plus as well, the, the carry strap, if you've ever seen the, the advert with this thing, when they're on the stairs doing it, you can't have the carry strap on when you're pushing it around the actual, um, right around the actual uh, machine here. Wait, it's one of the cheap hoovers. So you so basically, what well, to do the stairs, you've got to put the carry strap on, put it on, then take the carry strap off to finish off the rest of the house. Um, or you could do the top and bottom, 
and then do the stairs last. Maybe, Possibly that could be the more logical way of doing and it. This cave shop is quite rubbish anyway. Yeah. It's not even got a grip on it. So what we'll do now, we're going to put some dirt down. It's not even got a shoulder pad on it. We'll put some, um, we'll put some uh, hoover food down. Why don't you pop this on a dog? And we'll also, we're going to be putting in some standard dust that I've picked up from the house as well. Um, I'm going to pretty much mix it all in together <laughs> just to see what it leaves behind. We're going to do two passes on the low and the high setting on this one. So on this one, you've got... Um, the blue ones are very, very soft, very much like you'd have on the Dyson, but it's not, they're not the carbon bristles, mind you. The carbon bristles are like what you used to you have on like when you used to clean records, the record, um, the record cleaner, um, like brushes you used to have. Now these here of Dyson the carbon. Yeah. The red ones are the stiffer ones, but these aren't, these are probably about as stiff as the Dyson ones, as the black ones on the Dyson one. Well, these are very, very soft indeed. Um, so I don't think it's really going to really dig into this rug and get the, the fine dust out of it. Yeah, we got the uh, executioner for this year's uh, book killer, the Union Jack edition. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, Carl's also said there's no bearings or nothing on it. Um, this this floor head looks very similar to, I think, the, is it the um, Morphe Richards 69, the cordless one there, 500 quid. So yeah, so there it is. It's just like a bush, a bush in there. But a lot of companies use bushes, I think. Um, I think it's just the older machines. I mean, they're, all, they're not built for last, these things. I mean, I think this one comes with a... And the same, um, the same brushes are also in the Lidl's vacuum cleaner. Right. So they're all, yeah. So there you go. So what we'll do now, we'll give this one a quick, uh, we'll give this a, a, a low power setting on here and we'll see what, how well it does with it. Uh, um, it's a rubbish, flippy thing. So it's got headlights on the front, look. We're just going to push this one across the carpet, look. On the low setting, look. It's so it does suck a lot more up on the back pass, which is normal. Now we're going to put this one on the high high setting. So this one's picking a lot more up on the front pass. I don't know the block here. Well, I'll have to have a look. It's not a lot, not. Right, now I'm going to put some of this on the hard floors now, mate. So, uh, we'll stop that for a minute. So, what we'll do now... Any block? No, it's not blocked at all. No, it's a little bit round there, but that's normal. It's got a strange shark style tube. Yeah. So, what we're going to do is clean up here quickly on the max mode. I think mainly you have to have this in the high speed mode all the time, I should imagine. You know, it's like, and then what we'll do now, once we're done, we'll get the we'll get the V11 out, and we'll see how much this thing's left behind. Just uh, so this one's supposed to be eighty thousand RPM um, motor on it. That doesn't seem to be a lot of power at all in that bus bar, does it? No, it's got quite a lot of power, but it's not getting. Bristles. Yeah, the bristles are very, very soft on these. I think if it was just on a hard floor, it might be more useful. Yeah, it's more like a hard floor basket. It's more like one of those bristles Yeah, but it doesn't say... So this, this vacuum is supposed to leave your house sparkling clean. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh... I'm going to turn it off then. The other thing he found with it, he was hoping that you could just use the finger trip controls just to switch the thing on and off with and it doesn't do it does it because you do press this lock and you can hear the buzz lock so yeah, you, actually have to turn, off button. you actually have to turn it on at the machine and then you also control the power on there as well I must turn it off on the machine, so. which you know i think the mila uh, power red ones do i think i find the problem where all that paper's gone right yeah 
right in the bush bar. With those bristles and lots of shrieping it away. Yeah, all right, we'll sort that in a minute. Look, you take take the bris bristle part and we'll set up. Carl reckons that they possibly got like a, the hair cutters on this one, doesn't it? Yeah, well, since it, it is quite rough the hair. Yeah, and it's sort of like knocking it off. It's obviously agitating it. So we're gonna stick this one back in now so we get it a fair, a fair th thing. Obviously it didn't cope with the paper very well. We had small bits see, of plaster. Right, you see it goes right next to those brushes. I mean, it maybe cleaned out the brushes for ah, them. Ah, yeah, so, yeah, so it picks out, it picks out like, those little particles there. Ah, yeah, because, yeah. It picks out. This is how you get it back in. Just do that. Done. Right, we'll do it over here now. I've only got stuff here. We've got it on the floor here, look. Low speed. A lot better on our floors, mate, isn't it? Is it snow pattern? Right, right, put it on the mats now. This looks like it's possibly snow pattern, mate, isn't it? It's cleaning up, not too bad. Yeah, that's normal, mate. That happens to all of them, all like that. <laughs> yeah, but we call that sweet cut under the rug, look. I feel saying there, mate. <laughs> all right, so that'd be enough, mate. So, well, we've, we've used quite a lot of cordless machines, so for £89, Plus the shipping, I would really, really not recommend you, this one at you, all. You hear the rubbish inside. Um, I think if you bought the thing, you you would probably be sending it back, making some excuse that it's junk, wouldn't you? Um, to me personally, you know, it's worth spending. If you're going to go cordless, you want to get yourself a decent cordless. You only get the upright. It's buying cheap upright. Better than this. Yeah. But um, that's, well, that's the way, that. this is the way that, um, you know, vacuums are going now. It's just all about new ideas and that. And, you know, it's like this thing here. You've got an old half full sheet for man. You can see that it's left bits here, look. So what we'll do now, we'll, uh, off camera, we'll, we'll sweep up. I've just entered the V11 and we'll see exactly what this thing's left behind. Um, I think it's going to be a fair bit there. So, uh, quite forward. Right. So, this is what we've cleaned up in this one here. And as you can see, look, like I said to you, I'm not lying to you, all the stuff is literally stuck to that filter. All the fluff. Got flour, send it to flour. Is stuck to the filter. Um, so, basically, if you had a fully carpeted house, this thing would literally, after one use, you would have to brush this one off. Yeah. If you don't brush these off, it loses suction, and then this 10 kPa suction would probably be down to by seven. So you'd end up using it on the max mode. So it's not a brilliant design, really. All right. As you can see, this is what this one has left beyond right after. It, it's not loads. But as you can see, it's not brushed out. We're actually going to get the, this one as well. The filters aren't particularly clean on it. These are due for a clean, the filters. Um, so this one's actually probably not performing as well as it should be because of the filters. Um, so this one, like I said, we're just going to tip this one on the carpet now and see if there's any white dust being left behind on this one. So as you can see, look, this is exactly what has been left behind. There's a lot of carpet fibres, look, that's left behind, which was the thicker stuff. Um, I think the white stuff wasn't too bad of it, um, but it, we did go over it quite a few times. I Just switch that one back on. Back on. It's not even, you can still see the white there, but it's left it. 
<laughs> so that's the difference between you know a 599 pound vacuum and a 250 pound vacuum because we're not talking like on sale prices here you know um that's a difference you could buy a v8 you could buy a v8 spare v7 you could buy a shark which is better you could buy a v6 you could buy a, i think a henry cordless would be worse than that one because there's no agitation on it um i'm not like i think with pneumatic you have really got to stick to the mains powered ones i would say the cordless is all that dust has gone out of the shroud yeah we'll have a look at the filter on it it's the top filter on it, so a quick look at that. See what's been passed through on there. Look, it's quite fine stuff, though. So, yeah, so it's pretty much like there's no separation at all. And look at how much, yeah, that's where all that dust has gone. Look. So, as you can see, that's all the um, the white um, rolled oats. And this is how much you picked up. And that's exact. if you went to Curry's, that's exactly what they test the machine on. To be honest with you, they use road oats and a mixture of stuff. We used some pasta for some definition on it. Um, Wait for all that get all that off. Clean. So there you go. Back so now, there. after this video, I'm going to have to do a bit of a Sunday, a Sunday uh, deep clean now. Yeah. So uh, thanks for watching. Please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8. I know, own seal. I know they haven't really, I don't think they've done any fair videos testing it really. And I mean, we just use the same things when we do our test um, just to do it. But it was just something to do really. So this one didn't really want to be tested. Things always got in the way of it. So yeah, so thanks for watching and please subscribe to Vacuum Man 8. And I'll see you again on another video very soon. And bye for now. Bye.